Hello, I'm John Harold from Zytron. For the next few minutes, we're going to look at the copy function, which can be used to automate job throughput in the Navigator GPS workflow. The copy function differs from the send to workflow tick box discussed in the video, linking workflows, in that the copy function will leave the job in the current window while copying the job to a new workflow in its current state based on the previous workflow step. Let's take a look at a common example. Here's our CTP workflow with the preflight step enabled prior to ripping. Since the preflight profile might make some corrections to the incoming PDF, we'll want the preflighted version to be sent to our proofer, ensuring that the interpreted file will match the contents of the job when sent to the plate setter. With the workflow highlighted, click the Edit button. You'll see some of our available functions on the left side of the client window. The copy function is clearly labeled here. If you don't see a copy function in your list, go to the server window and under Server Setup, use the drop down menu to select Manage Workflow Actions. Click New Action, then select Copy from the drop down menu. Give it a meaningful name so that others will be able to recognize its purpose. Click OK then click Done. Now you see your copy function available for use. Since we want to be sure that the job we copy is the preflighted version, we'll drag the copy icon into the workflow after the preflight step. The workflow immediately presents the copy tab for you to configure, which in this case will be to choose the proofing workflow. Click the Edit button to activate the workflow, and you're ready to go. When we drop a job on the workflow, it immediately begins processing by running through our preflight profile. We've placed a pause there so we can check the report before allowing the job to continue. We can see that there are a couple of insignificant warnings, along with one major change. We can clear this job for proofing while allowing it to stage at the rip at the same time. We do this by clicking the forward button to release it to the next steps. The preflighted version of the job is sent to the proofing workflow for output, and at the same time is ripped for high res plates, but held for approval prior to output. When we expand the job tree, you can see each of the steps as the job is processed.